Hello everyone and welcome back to Story Studios. Greetings, in fact. And I must have a warning right now. You must be 18 years or older to be watching this video. I'm joking, I'm joking. But this is an 18 plus set, so don't get any ideas buying the set, kids. If you're under 18, they will check your ID. So this is a, uh, a mature uh, video that we will be doing today on the Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber. Once again, 18 plus, so mature content ahead. So be careful. Very mature content, as you can see. For starters, let's look at the 18 plus box. Yes, this is all black background, which you know is 18 plus because all black is boring. I just wish that Legos, because 18 plus, I ranted about this before, I'm not going to get into it, but overall, all black for a background doesn't always work. It might for this case, it doesn't always work for everything. And it has the scene that's trying to depict in the back, the measurements, how oh, 18 plus, because when I was a kid, I didn't care about centimeters. Now this is set number 75296 and has 663 pieces. $70, let me tell you. For me, that's overpriced. Just saying. Um, I think $50 would be more reasonable. If you're thinking of getting this, I'd honestly just wait till I'd wait till it goes on sale. But mm, okay. It was way too early for Captain Morgan. <laughs> Let's get into the actual set, shall we? So first off, we have the Imperial officer that we see in the Empire Strikes Back scene. This is a very simplistic Imperial officer. Honestly, there's not much to show. There's some minimal printing on the back. He has the classic black gloves. He comes with a pistol, has like the little Imperial officers insignias over here to demote rank or denote. That's the word I'm looking for. And he has his cap, his Imperial officer's cap, which can come off and he has uh, some forehead wrinkles, which I think is, uh, he should probably be getting some more sleep, but that's all that is for this minifigure. Next, we have the Darth Vader minifigure, which, all black, comes with a nice black cape, and he has the arm printing. So, this is a set to get an arm printed Darth Vader, uh, and he has the chrome lightsaber hilt, a uh, very nice torso, and like printing as well. The helmet is the two-piece helmet that he usually comes with now, which means the top comes off, which I think is so cool still. Can't get over it. That's the helmet, and that is his face. And he still has, like, the bottom part of his helmet, just like you would. And he does have some scarring on the back of his head, which is very accurate. So as you can see, this is the Darth Vader's meditation chamber, as it is... It states written here below, Darth Vader Meditation Chamber, right there. Lego Star Wars. Uh, this is a really good, well-designed set. And I guess my first favorite thing about this set is honestly the base. The base is not square, it's slightly rectangular. But it comes with these nice chrome great pieces to put on the side. And let me tell you, these look absolutely amazing. I think that was just the little touch that it needed. I really like the details on just <laughs> the entirety. I mean, the inside, these are stickers, by the way, uh, but the inside looks absolutely phenomenal. And you can see, like, they did leave a stud for the officer to stand on. Uh, the steps that were made, these are very interesting to build, and a very interesting building technique is used. I'm not going to spoil it. You should get it just to find out what that is because it's just, it was just really interesting um we interrupt our program to bring you this important message 
This message is not fit for people below the age of 18. So if you're below the age of 18, please stop watching this video now and go hide because Just, oh, this is too much hair. This is too much hair. We, we can't. We can't do this segment. This is a bird's eye view of the set, but very simplistic in its nature. However, a really good display set nonetheless. To start off, we do have a place back here with a clip. For the longest time, I was like, what is this for? It is to hold Darth Vader's lightsaber when he is not using it. So that solves that <laughs> mystery. And then over here, we have the top of the meditation chamber, which can raise and lower. We will show that in a moment. But on the inside first, let me place Darth Vader. You can see that there is a seat for him that is um, actually placed at an angle. The seat can actually swivel. So if we do that, as you can see, he can spin around sort of just like in the movie where he's talking to someone like this and spins around to see Admiral Ozell and at the time Captain uh, Piet on the screen, which that is also a sticker. But let me just say, I love this. This is probably my favorite Lego sticker ever. It's just a Lego Admiral Ozell and a Lego Captain Piet in the background and Ozell's getting choked to death. That's amazing. Also, it was very interesting how they did the sticker because they put the sticker piece on a on a flat like black piece that goes in the door. Uh, and then they put a blue translucent screen, as you can see, right on top of it. So it looks like a screen. And that um, and that just I, that just blew my mind for some reason. It might not blow your mind, but it blew my mind. And this is where the officer is supposed to go uh, while talking to Vader. And this is the top of his meditation chamber. Uh, has actually some nice detailing on the inside as well. But this is how this mechanism works. It's purely held up by friction. So we have this ball joint piece that can lock into place on any of these um, holes right here on this Technic rod, as you can see. And so you just lift this up and this can be completely lowered down like such, and Darth Vader is now encased in his chamber. And then if he wants to be awakened by, I guess, an officer, you can then raise this up to that notch, and then you can see him again. So that is essentially what that is. And that is the Darth Vader meditation chamber. If you want to see what the instruction booklet looks like, you can just look it up on PDF because all Lego instruction booklets are on there, but we have just a nice blurb about uh, the craters and all different languages, plus the scene with Darth Vader in the meditation chamber. There was my flask. Then, of course, the different bags and sections. Classic instruction book, but it does have a little blurb in the front, which I think was cool and interesting since this isn't a UCS set, but uh, it's cool to always get those little blurbs in the instruction booklet. I think it's uh, quite nice, actually. That is the LEGO review, and of course, because it is a LEGO review, we will be continuing on reading the Star Wars William Shakespeare, A New Hope, and we ended Act 1 last time, so we're on to Act 2 now, so I'm actually quite excited to see where this goes. Act 2, Scene 1, Inside the Lars Homestead. Enter C-3PO. Alas, my R2-D2, he hath flown, and all the while he peepeth on and on about his duty in rebellion's cause. Oh, with what strength shall I be punished when R2's treachery discovered is? So shall I hide myself behind the ship in hopes I'll not be found by Master Luke? C-3PO hides. Enter Luke Skywalker. C-3PO, I say, what dost thou there? At what game playest thou, jolly droid? C-3PO emerges. I prithee thee, sir. Be thou not cross with me, t'was through now my fault. 
of mine, in truth I swear, pray let me not deactivate it be. I asked him, a, and urged him not to go, with sighs and words a plenty plied on him, with him, many earnest pleadings made my cause, and yet he was to me as one made deaf. His metal ears, as twear, did seem to plug, as though no word of mine could penetrate, and break upon his sense of hearing, oh, a fear, a cursed malfunction doth befall, my dear and treasured are two units. Nay! Ay, verily, his mission is supreme, so saith he. He will not hinder be, nor from his wayward, stubborn purpose veer. Now, with these words, young Luke doth quickly run beyond these shuttered doors with failing hope, and stepping out beneath the setting sun, he scans the vast horizon with his scope. Sir, ever hath that our two unit been, a problem that hath vexed me through and through. Astromech droids have ever puzzled me, their minds have tempers mighty to behold, though all contained in frames of modest size. Fee, how have I so easily been tricked? This R2 hath performed his greatest feat, to vanish scope to wheels into the air. Oh, blast it! A and Fi and Ficos too. Now he is angered. Peace, my master, peace. Good sir, forgive me imprudence, but may we yet this aim go out your searching? Nay, tis far too dangerous, the night is dark, but darker are the dreaded sand people, and dark is most of all their thievery. Thus, as the darkness waits for light to dawn, so must we wait for morning to arrive. O oh, Luke, come hither, swiftly come ye in, the time hath come to darken down the power. Anon, good uncle, thy good word I'll heed. Oh, I shall taste the whips and scorns of my dear uncle's anger, so shall that small droid, though yet far gone, wreak havoc on my soul. Aye, sir, tis true, although the droid is skilled at labor and in service, most doth he excel at wearying the hearts of men. Luke and Cethupio withdraw for the night. And so a restless night doth pass within, while Luke doth ponder future punishment, and longs for his lost joy at search to begin. Cethupio doth fear his banishment, at early morn with eager wills they rise, a shared endeavor, binding them anew, the fast land speeder over the deserts flies, <laughs> and they go to find the errant droid R2. I'm just finding out more and more as I read Shakespeare that it is freaking hard to read this out loud, because let me tell you, Yes. Goodness gracious. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this Lego review. Everyone, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Click that bell icon for bell icon so you can notify when I'm posting new and mature content. Yeah, join the Discord server. Link in the description below. I don't know if I just said that. I probably just said that. I don't know. But um, yeah.